Hello everybody, hope this finds you well. Thought I'd make a video. Uh, last night, uh, watched a, a live broadcast. Someone I've subscribed to for some time. I don't know if he subscribed to me, but I thought uh, he knew who I was. It has been a while, and perhaps we just had it before and he doesn't remember it. I can understand that. My mind doesn't remember things that happened, chats that happened a year, year or two ago. But uh, it seems to have been a misunderstanding. And I blame myself because I was not clear in the comments. He did respond to the questions, not all of them, but uh, he did respond to them. And I, I just wanted to make this video for him. Let him know that I wasn't uh, attacking your beliefs nor was I questioning your biblical scholastics or your your knowledge of the scriptures. I wasn't questioning these things. I was questioning interpretations and trying to find an understanding of where you're coming from. Uh, I have other Calvinist friends and we do go around sometimes on some of these issues. But I still consider you a brother in Christ. Um, same scriptures we're both looking at, and I have read mine several times and still study it today. I learn something new every time, and I don't have all the answers. Don't claim to have all the answers. And if I'm asking questions, it's because I'm simply trying to understand your ideology on this matter, I guess, your, your theology. Asking questions, we should always test everything. I test my own beliefs all the time. And I was wondering how well you test your beliefs because I was hearing some contradictions. I'm not going to tell you who this person is. I'm sure he knows who he is, and, and I will send him this. Uh, he wanted to invite me on the chat, but I didn't have time last night. And he wants to chat with me on a video conference. Probably private one, maybe we'll do a live chat sometime, I'm up for it, you know, these things should be talked about and discussed in a friendly manner if possible, simply because, you know, iron sharpens iron, and we must test our beliefs, if you feel I'm testing your belief, well, so be it, you can test mine if you want, you'll find that there's nobody else like me, and, uh, I'm not going to uh, argue my beliefs. I'm not into debating so much as I used to be. I, I do give reasons for my faith, which is within me. When the question is asked, and I have been known to defend the faith from time to time. And I'm not always good at it. See, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. But I do, as I'm led to by the Spirit, and I do have a strong faith in. Jesus the Christ is known by the Gentiles, Yeshua, Hamashiach, in the Aramaic, is, uh, is my Savior. He is God. God is one. I'm just curious about things with Calvinism, Calvinism which I find is a matter of interpretation. I, I, I had problems saying things are, you know, like our life is ordained, and I'm, I'm questioning that because what the term ordained, you know, the definition of ordained uh, is not uh, the same as the definition of destined or predestined. Uh, they're not the same words. They have different meanings. Uh, and you know, I do not argue against the sovereignty of God. God is the sovereign. He is the ruler. You know, he he commands. You know, he's in charge of, of the universe's creation. 
he calls who he calls and chooses whom he chooses. You know, many are called and few are chosen. He gives out the hand and wants all humanity. This is my belief. He wants, as I see it from the scriptures, he wants all humanity to come to him, to know him. He doesn't want anyone to, to perish. But because there is sin in the world, some will. That's why many are called and few are chosen, because only a few accept him and follow him and those that follow him are the ones he chooses that is my interpretation you may interpret it differently we can discuss that uh, God's ordinances he ordains the law he ordains the, the physical uh, laws the natural laws are all things he has commanded and created but I have questions such as did God ordain the fall of man in the garden? You know, I agree that the Bible says that even good come in the end glorify God but it's in the justice that he disposes because of his ordinances that glorifies him. He does not like anybody suffering or perishing in flames for eternity but he is the just God um, God ordaining God creating God knowing the future does not mean that we have no choice or that our choices are already preordained there would not be the, the calling, the invitation, if we didn't have a choice in the matter, and that choice being made freely of our own will, not predestined or preordained to do so. Now, God can make the future happen. He can make things happen, yes, to his because it's all made for him anyway. But did God create evil? Did he preordain Satan? We, we, we have to watch going there. That's why I have problems with it. It, it. it seems to contradiction in terms to say that God has preordained whether we'll follow him or not, yet offers us choices that it seems to be a contradiction of terms I'm sorry I'm sure you have an explanation for these things and I'd like to hear them uh, I'm not an Armenian I'm not a Calvinist I don't really consider myself either I'm just a student of the word uh, the scriptures and the Bible are a guidepost to that word, and that word is Christ Jesus, the Messiah. That is the word of God. The scriptures are just tools to teach us of that word. The Bible is not the word, it is the inspired words of God to teach us. The Word of God, the Word of God is Christ Jesus. Simple as that. Uh, if you have a problem with it, I, I, it's okay. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would question my beliefs, and I welcome these questions. As long as we can do it in a civil manner, let us reason together. You know, I still consider you all brothers and sisters in Christ if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, died for our sins, and rose again on the third day. He was born of a virgin. He is God. If you believe these things, then we're in agreement completely, and we're brothers and sisters in, in the Lord. If you don't, well, it's your choice. and. If you have a different way of looking at it, I'm willing to listen. 
say that I'm I'm a child and don't know. Well, it's hard looking at me to figure that out. But say I'm a child and you're trying to teach me what you believe and trying to prove this belief. Teach me what it is you believe, why you believe it. Don't uh, cut me short or underestimate my own knowledge of these things. But teach me as if though I was a child. Humor me. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. And I'll make my choice as to whether it holds weight in my life. Other than that though, most of what I hear is a bunch of talk, hot air and wind, arguments, cutting down the opposition such as the atheist, which, you know, I understand the frustration with the atheist, and, and I, I, I have it myself. They're, they're a frustrating lot, like that I used to be one. You're not going to convince any of them unless God calls them first, and God has called all of us. give your testimony go ahead and defend the faith but be kind in doing so do it in a gentler way they're not the enemy Satan and the lies and deceptions that he creates are so test everything as our Lord tells us in the scripture test everything do not be deceived. The sermon is simply good judgment with sound doctrines. Thank you very much. Uh, hope to hear you from you soon. And anyone, anyone else wants to weigh in, if you're a Calvinist or something, and you want to explain to me where I'm wrong, please. You can do it kindly, please comment below. Best wishes to all of you. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you.